Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three strings, cigar box, guitar, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is Blackberry Smoke. This is I Can Feel a Good One Coming On. I'm going to play a couple of verses of it, then uh, a chorus, and then we'll go into uh, the little solo section, and then I'll break down exactly what I'm doing. So here we go. <laughs> Packs of shiner, 99 cent butane lighter, lucky strikes and a fifth of patrol. Ice down that igloo cooler, tank of gas that ought to do her. I can feel a good one coming on. Throw in Ray Wiley Hubbard. Sing along the redneck mother Any blues I had before was gone Another working week is over No chance of staying sober I can feel a good one coming on We're gonna roll all night We're gonna get the feeling right Break it down. I can feel a good one coming on. G tuning G D G 42 34 24 open G so G G sharp A B flat B C important chord in this song C sharp and D the next important chord in this song it's a three chord song G D G C and D sorry about that also, I play another shape in here of G. So another shape I play is I get my first finger on the fifth fret. You can see the dots here. The fifth fret of that D string. And then I put my third finger here on the seventh fret of the G and seventh fret of the G. So it's going to look like seven, five, seven. So I'll do that again. Seven, five, seven seven and that's for the chorus because it's very easy to go makes it really 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 simple so the song starts out in G two six packs of shiner C 99 cent butane lighter D lucky strikes and a fifth of Patron G the rhythm it's more like this. So it's gonna sound like boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. It's a pretty standard southern rock-ish rhythm. Real slow. That's kind of where you want to be. That is the entire lyric part. It's very, very simple. G, C, and D. For you beginners, when I say it's very simple, that doesn't necessarily mean it's simple for everybody. But you will get this fairly easy. Just keep working on it. This is a great song to work on if you're just learning how to sing. Fantastic song for that because it kind of just works and flows. Two, six packs of shiner C. 99 cent butane lighter, lucky strikes and a fifth of patrol. And you can leave your hand in this position and just strum a 
away because your C and D are here. Your chorus. Watch how I make these changes. C, D, C, G, D, C, G, D. And this is how you should make this. So really, really, for you beginners out there that are just starting out, learn this transition. C, then you're going to take your first finger and move it right there on that D string. G, D. So it's a C, G, D. You're going to be using this type of transition a lot. And do it in one strokes. So a... We're gonna roll all night. We're gonna get the feeling right. We're gonna keep this party rocking till the break seat dawn. See, I can feel D, a good one open, coming on. And that's that's really the entire rhythm section of the song. So the little country solos. They're really fun, and in the intro, you go through all the chords. So, like so, you would be going... C. D. G. And then you do it over. This little lick, and I use two fingers on it, um, when you bend at this close to the nut, you're not going to get a lot of bend, especially with using a 24 gauge. Uh, if you went down gauges, you know, you would, you would end up with a, a more resilient, you know, a more bendable string, but you would also lose power. So it's a power versus, versus bend ratio, and I like 24 for my high G string. That's me. You may want a 17. Whatever you like is good. So you're going to take that second fret on that A and you're going to bend it up. And you're going to come back and then strike the open G. And I use two fingers because I like having a helper finger. If you notice when I make chords a lot with my pinky, I'll have a helper finger. Or if I do this, I'll have a helper finger. You know, I like to use helper fingers. So here we go. It's, I'm using this finger. This guy's a helper. And when I make bends, I use my whole arm and bend up. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that's... So you're bending a hit, strike and bend up. G, E, D. And this is a B, flat B, G. A lot of times I'll use my pinky for this note, but it's a B flat B open high G string. And then I, I like to come back to that lower G. That's just me. You can leave it. There's the bend. I like to come back. In the solo section, you're going to do that as an intro, just the beginning. Now you're up on C. And if you notice how, how I moved to C within that space. The minute I hit that note, my finger's coming up to C. Now, you're going to need D sharp, you're going to need E, and then you're going to have to play it like a rock and roll rhythm where you're on these two notes. That's a G and that's a C, and you're going to work with this right here. That's an A note. So get used to this little move. And you're just playing two notes. You're not playing the whole chord like, like rock and roll. You're just playing these two notes. Because you're going to play the chord. Okay? 
And a trick I do, this is a special little trick, is I put my finger where it mutes that low G string. That's like an extra credit thing. I do a lot of muting with my fingers, and it's just a technique I've learned over the years, and it's something I want to impart to you, that these are tricks you can use. And it sounds like I'm only hitting two strings, but I'm actually strumming all of them because I'm pressing on this, and you don't hear it. So that's a little extra credit technique here. So C. D sharp E. Now you're going to play these two notes. And I like to come back thing like that. Where I'm actually pulling back on those two notes. I really like that. It's very country. Very, very country. The next set is on the D. And this is really fun. This is where we start playing a little chromatically. Chromatically is a big $5 word that means all the notes. So we're in this little section. Here's D. You know, I can see it right there. You're going to roll up from A, B flat to B. So roll up three notes, and then you're going to hinge over to E, and back to B. Okay, so you're coming up, roll over, back, then you're going to your D. You're chromatically coming up to this B from the A. So there is your move. You're coming back down, roll up, hinge, hinge back. Go to that D. Then you're going to go B, A, G. time really slow and I want you to just flow up with these three notes so it's like three little hammer-ons like so and then back to the lick again so it's there folks is how you play this song the vibe is right um, the amount of notes is not necessarily there but uh, your audience is not going to know the difference they're going to really dig on this tune it's a really really fun song to play thank you so much for everything you do for me this is uncle mark in the mothership i do have a paypal link down below it's a paypal.me forward slash uncle mark tips and a bucket show is all we ask thank you so much for all your support you are the people that make this happen. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. So I'm on Facebook at Cigar BX Blue. Check that out. I'm on Instagram, trying to get on all these platforms. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, and we'll see you again next time.